Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Uh, in my video today, I got a brand new Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series laptop. It's a model 3583. It has a touch screen. It's 15.6 inch. I uh, have all the basic features, no optical drive of course, got an SD card slot, USB port on that side, over on this side, got a headphone jack, two more USB ports, Ethernet port, HDMI, and of course your power cord. So for this customer, they wanted me to do a little upgrading on it, um, it's brand new, I just took it out of the box. But it comes with 128 gigabyte NVMe SSD and 8 gigabytes of DDR4. But I'm going to, I know in these models, I believe there's a two and a half inch expansion bay inside to add a second mechanical hard drive in addition to the SSD. So I'm going to put this in to give them more storage. It's a one terabyte Western Digital Drive. And I'm going to take out the 2242 M.2 drive that's in here and put a 2280 250 gigabyte. NVMe drive in it, beef it up a little bit for them. So, it's a pretty simple little upgrade. The bottom pan comes off. I've already moved all the screws, didn't want to bore you with that. There, one thing I want to point out though is there's different size screws, these Dells. This, this screw right here is one size. These three screws along the back here are one size. And the rest of these other screws are a different size. So make sure you put the right screws back in the right hole so nothing pokes through. So I've already done that. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. On this one, it's actually easier if we start with it turned up like this. Because what we're going to do is go take my little spudger tool here, something very thin. We're going to get into the seam right here along the front. Not a good idea to use metal tools on these guys. Once you get it started here. There, now we can do this and flip it over. It's generally pop off. Pretty simple. Don't be reefing on it too hard. It's kind of what I call jiggle it. There we go. Just like that. So now, before we do anything, I'm going to get in. I'm going to go inside here and disconnect the battery. We, we don't want to be dropping any of this metal stuff onto your motherboard while there's power going to it. So right here is the battery connector. It, it actually removes. You could unplug it from the motherboard, but I'm just going to go ahead and unplug it right from the battery here. Either or, it don't however you want to do it because this on this one it just pulls right out. It's pretty simple, just like that. So now we got the battery disconnected. Then I'm going to remove the little protective shield over your M.2 bay right here. There's two screws, one here, one here. Oh my God. Oops, took the whole drive right out. So they got it screwed right onto the bottom of the shield right here. That's a, I believe that's 2242. So we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to take my 250 gig 2280 drive here. Put it back in the slot. Got to make sure we put our screw back in here to hold it down. By the way, I'm going to do a clean install of Windows 10 on this, just using the flash drive that you can create with the Windows Media Creation Tool. I have videos on how to do that. So, um, so we got the new drive in, the M.2 SSD. Now we're going to put the new 8 gig stick of RAM in here in addition to the 8 gig it has from the factory. Ah. 
this would be a nice little upgrade to an otherwise kind of plain laptop. So we're going to pop that right in the slot. Just like that. Pretty easy. Now, over here is our expansion bay. You see, they got the mounting kit in here for you and everything. And there's our SATA connector. So we got four screws, I believe, we're going to have to take out to get this out to add our mechanical drive. Nice, they give you the mounting bracket. Now you can put a solid state two and a half inch drive in here, any any size you want, really. You can make this your boot drive. You better off with the NVMe drive, though. Again, that can be any size over there. Get this little little guy out here, and underneath, bless their little hearts, they give you four mounting screws to put the hard drive in here. Those out of there. Great deal. Uh. Alright, they're going to make me work for it here. So we're going to remove that little tape there. And there's our four screws. I'm just going to pop them out of the hole, hopefully. Oh, there it goes. Just doing this in real time guys so you can see that this isn't that difficult of an upgrade so here's our drive you got to make sure you put it in the right way it's going to go bottoms up basically yeah got all my tools get rid of the tape here so it's going to go in just like that Put the mounting kit right over top. For this, I'm going to use my cordless. Because I just like to use my cordless. And drop my screws. It's alright. I got extras. These don't have to be super tight. dropped a screw. I ain't got time to look for it, so I'm just going to go into my Santa Claus box here and snag another one. <clears throat> Sorry about that. attach our little SATA cable right here. Got to be very careful. They don't give you a lot of extra there. Got to line it up. Make sure it goes in securely. Got our caddy back in there. Looks like we're good. Secure this back down. When you're all done, don't forget to hook your battery back up. Button it all back up. Do a clean install. You'll have a 250 gig NVMe drive plus a one terabyte storage drive to put whatever you want on it. Check out some of my other videos on how to do the clean install or clone your hard drive. Don't forget to subscribe. Please. All right. So we had our extra eight gigabytes of DDR4, total of 16. Our NVMe 250 gig. Our new drive, everything looks good. So we're gonna reattach our battery. Make sure it's in. Power back on. Just wanted to show you how on this particular model you can do quite a bit of little 
little work to do a nice little upgrade. Snap this all back on. Of course, put your screws back. And like I said, you got three different length screws. You got one length here, one length in these three holes, and these other ones are one another length. So that's it. I appreciate you guys all watching. I'm gonna do a clean and sell, and we should be good to go. So again, don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.